and this is our new magazine. It's 16 pages. It goes free to every monthly donor who has requested to be put on the magazine list. And it gets distributed free at our street stalls. And people can give a donation for it if they want at our street stalls, but they can also just take it for free. And it's also available for sale on our website at £4.50. And it was a good two months of work. And let me just... It's the Coronation Edition. And it's specifically about Scotland and the monarchy. And I learned so much researching this, some of which uh, is easily enough to fill a second magazine, which we'll no doubt do in future. But for now this is good for getting along with and we've called it king and country and so we start off with describing what the monarch is all about what's the role of the monarch and then here we we reprint once again this amazing family tree which takes it from robert the bruce right down to prince william then we talk about the, the, the matter of sovereignty. So that's quite a political discussion that we have on that page there. Talking about this relationship between the sovereignty of the people and the sovereignty of the crown. And then here we're talking again history and the concept of the royal style and how kings and queens are numbered. Here we talk about the relationship of Christianity to the British monarchy and the absolute relevance of it, the key element of it really is the, the Christian element which is often hidden but we bring it out here and that's always brought to the fore in the British national anthem which is in fact, as we say here, it's actually a prayer. It's not like most national anthems which are jingoistic appeals to abstract concepts of national greatness it's actually a prayer put to music and then the centre pages which I'm so pleased about our graphic designer really delivered on this it's basically a poster the Scottish roots of the British royal family tracing by by picture from Robert the Bruce up here right down to King Charles all his Scottish ancestry in a direct line right back to Robert the Bruce so that's a really fantastic educational piece that so pleased with it you won't find that I've never seen that anywhere else and I've been studying these things for years and I've been collecting things for years I've never seen it laid out like that ever in all my years a brilliant educational document and here we talk about the extent to which Scotland has always been a monarchy even during the British Civil War when Cromwell executed Charles I that didn't stop the Scots from immediately proclaiming his son to be the king of all Great Britain and crowning him as such at Scone Palace. And then here we speak more about going into the, the, the uh, heritage prior to Bruce. And we also dedicate the issue to our friend Thomas Mace Archer Mills, who we had on the programme as a guest, he was the founder of the British Monarchist League, the Monarchist Society, founder of the British Monarchist Society, and he was a tireless supporter of the UK. We interviewed him a couple of years ago. Unfortunately, he passed away, just a young man in his mid-40s in January of this year. So we dedicate this issue to him. And then the two pages here, how the monarchy delivers a profit and how it's actually funded. And then policies. P 
policies to celebrate the monarchy that a government could enact. Some clever thinking went into that page. And then the final page has a picture of our coronation celebration in George Square back on Coronation Day. The 6th of May, 2023. So tremendous issue that. So pleased with it. So pleased with it. And I do thank everybody who, who helped make that happen. It really, it really is something, something special. So if you don't have a copy, please do uh, get yourself a copy at our shop.